Hi everyone. Uh, we have a tutorial here on using Posit Cloud to get your Quarto blog working. This is for students in Psych 3470. You can find this information on the course website in the compendium under Posit Cloud. I added a Quarto blog section near the end here. So let's uh, go through these steps. First thing we're going to need to do is create a GitHub repository with all the files we need. And you know this is because when we go over to Posit Cloud, and I know you already have your GitHub account and your Posit Cloud account, so you're ready to do this kind of thing. When we click New Project and set up a new RStudio project, inside of there, there's no option to create a Quarto blog project that initializes all the files for us. Instead, we're going to use this option here, new project from Git repository. And I've made a Git repository that already has the files we need. You can access it right here. It's a uh, Quarto course blog. So I'm just going to drag this link into another tab and we can take a look at it. Some of the files should look familiar to you. I've got, this is, I think I made this last semester and there's instructions here for how to do this, but I was promising to make a video and here it is. All right, so this is something called a GitHub template and you should be able to, uh, well, what you have to do is sign into your GitHub account and then find this repository, right? Once you're here, you can click use this template and we're going to create a new repository. Uh, for me, I'm actually gonna make a blog myself for our course. Uh, so I'm gonna call this, I don't know, um, <laughs> 3470 example blog that could be fine uh how about this actually i'm gonna do it crump lab example blog it's kind of long but that's okay so i made a name i could add a short description if i want and example blog we're going to make it public and press create repository. What happens here is we're just making a copy of that template. And now I've got a, a brand new repository in my GitHub. It's called Crump Lab Example Blog. Here it is. It should be set up and ready to go, actually, so that it can be served to the web. If we're following these instructions, uh, here's what we've done so far. We've clicked the use a template button. We've given a new name. We're going to do this now, activate GitHub pages. To do that, go to your settings, find pages right here. And we just need to turn on, uh, I think right here, for, uh, no, select the master, select docs, and press save. This part usually takes 30 to 40 seconds, maybe longer. If you go back to your repository here, Let's see if I scroll down, can I see anything happening? Not exactly. I'm just gonna reload the page. Yeah. Um, sometimes you'll see a message here telling you that GitHub Pages is rendering your content. Here we go. 
the environments has popped up. We see that GitHub Pages is queued. And we're just twiddling thumbs here while we wait for it to be finished. Uh, let's see, reload. There we go, it's active now. So we should be able to actually see this blog instead of the source code. I'm gonna head back to settings. I'm gonna go to pages and uh, this is the URL. And you'll be able to click this and go visit your site. Uh, what I like to do is copy this and go back to the repository. If you see this about section here, there's a little gear and I'm just gonna copy the website link right into here and press save. And, and that means that I can click this uh, when I, I'm looking at the repository. And let's see, if I click this, it should go to this new website. And yeah, here it is, a new blog. Uh, looks like I made this uh, for a, a different course. So I've, I've populated an example assignment for a cognition course I was teaching. But basically we're going to delete all this stuff and do our own thing for uh, Psych 3470. But great, we, we pretty much have this working in terms of getting the repository and serving the website. FYI, the URL here to your Quarto blog this is the one that you need to submit on Blackboard for this assignment. Okay, so what's next? We need to uh, be able to use uh, this inside of our studio and we can do that using Posit Cloud. So we're gonna log into Posit Cloud. I'm over here. Here's my Posit Cloud. And we have to make a new project and we're gonna make a new project from a Git repository. So choose that option. And it's asking me for a URL of your Git repository. All right, let's go find it. Here it is. I, I made Crump Lab example blog. The URL here uh, to the repository, not to your uh, actual website, um, it's, whatever this page is. So I'm copying that into here, github.com. And just, this is your username. And this is the name that you gave to your new blog. Okay. We're watching the deploying happen. And in the behind the scenes here, I guess our studio is going to go out to github.com, make a copy of all the files, you know, in that repository, and then wham, it's loading them in. They're all right here. And so we've actually accomplished uh, a whole bunch. You can start changing things and working on your blog uh, right now. Uh, to make sure that it's working, let's do a couple things right away. And I'm pretty sure we'll have to uh, install some new packages. We could go to the build tab and uh, let's try rendering the website and see what happens. Okay, a bunch of things. Tried to do this. We, we, saw, we saw this pop-up blocker in class. I'm gonna press cancel. Uh, I'm going to go to tools, global options, R markdown, show output preview in the viewer pane, press apply and okay. And now when we render the website, we should be able to See it here, so great. That's pretty cool. Um, 
Now the next thing, let's see, go down. Where are we? Load the project. Oh yeah, number seven, we're, we're, here's where we're at. We need to now demonstrate how to edit and modify some files. And if you do that, that'll be a change that happens in your posit cloud account. And that's um, any changes here will be kind of like on your local computer, except they'll be on the posit cloud computer. And they're not gonna come back to your GitHub blog right away. So if you make a change in posit and uh, well, let's, let's go through the steps and see what we need to do. Basically, we need to make changes here, re-render the website, and then push those changes back to github.com so that we can uh, see them on our live blog. Anything you do in Posit Cloud is like a sandbox and only you can see it. Make a new post. We just, we could do a couple things. Um, copy one of these or make a new folder ourselves. Give it a name. And what we need to add here is an index.qmd file. We could make one of those by going click Quarto document, give a title, press create. I'm gonna use the, the source mode here. And notice untitled one is in red. I'm gonna press S and we're gonna save that right into the third post as index.qmd. We could add an author. Uh, a test post where I change something. All right, I, th I think that should be enough. Where if we go back and render this website, here we have a, a third post that we should be able to read. Great. So we did our job, we, we made some new stuff and if we go back to github.com and look in our posts folder, we see the third one isn't there and it's not, it's not actually live on the website. So the next steps that we need to follow are to accomplish this goal of sending back our changed files uh, to github.com. Uh, this is what happened last time I tried to do this. This is how I got it to work and I'm, I'm hoping this is gonna work again now. So let's find out. From the Git tab, stage your changes, commit your changes and push your changes using the green up arrow. We're also saying you need to authenticate your Git credentials and allow Posit Cloud previously our studio to update your GitHub repository. Um, let's try doing this authentication part first. So the instructions are in the terminal, uh, run these two lines, but replace your name and email. Okay. In Posit Cloud, if we look at the left-hand corner, there's our R console. This is for R stuff. And there's something called a terminal. And, and we're gonna use the, the terminal here for this next part. So I'm gonna copy this first part right in here and write my name. Did that work? Uh, whoops. Let's, oh, I, I think that probably got messed up. I had two quotations 
that's annoying. Okay, I think that's that's what I wanted to do. Hmm. All right. Maybe I needed to do uh, some other things first. Let's let's see. Uh, maybe maybe we'll learn some some steps as we go along. So let's start with this. From the Git tab, stage your changes. Here's the Git tab. We're going to uh, select all of these things and stage these changes. Is there a button for that? Oh, no, um, just clicking them all accomplishes the goal of staging. Now we're going to commit. And this requires us to write a little summary of the changes. So um, a first commit. I'm going to press the commit button. All right, now we're getting some messages and I think this can be helpful. If the request is, please tell me who you are. And it's telling us to do these things right here. Actually, it's in a, the email first and then my name. To set your account's default identity um, omit global to set the identity only in this repository. Okay, that's interesting information. But let's try some of this stuff. Whoop, what happened here? Oh, I got a, it, it's. Hopefully, this was all screen sharing. That's actually a good question. I'd like to know. All right. Uh, I see what I did wrong. Uh, the, the terminal typing is kind of annoying. Uh, yeah, up here, I accidentally copied this text. I didn't want to copy in there. I just wanted this text. Is that what one? Is that I, okay? So that worked. And oops, I want to do the next one. Uh, I think I am. All right, those are the first two things. Let's see if we can do this now. Our goal is to commit these changes. So I'm pressing the commit button. I'm not sure if you're seeing this screen that popped up, but there's a space to type a commit message and then press uh, the commit button. And I see some information, press X, close this stuff. I don't know, it feels like it worked. Let's go back here, check it out. All right, I didn't go back to github.com. but we were able to commit the changes. We haven't really talked much about Git and GitHub in class yet. What I just did was saved a message with my current changes and 
um, that commit happened in posit cloud. If we want to uh, make sure this stuff gets pushed out to github.com, there's a button here called push. So we need to press this button next. And it may or may not work. I, I, there's a few other things. When you push your changes back to GitHub, you'll be asked to enter username and password. You can enter the username for your github.com, but apparently your password won't work and you need to set up something called a personal access token. Okay, let's, let's feel it happen. I'm gonna press push. My username for github.com. Uh, yeah, I think that's my username. No, that's not my username. Oops, close, push. This is my username. Uh, what is my password? Ay, ay, ay. Let me go get my password so I can try this. Uh, one second. All right. I think I'm ready to do it. Do push. Crump Lab. Okay. My password. And yeah, here, here's the message. The port for password authentication was removed. See this link for information on current recommended modes of authentication. I'm just going to copy this in case we need to go there later. Here it is. I have to learn about these things. Press close. But uh, fingers crossed that this next part tells me what I did last time and it still works. All right. I'm going to have to go to your GitHub com profile, go to the settings page, scroll down and click on developer settings. Let's do that. Go back to our GitHub here. Settings and uh -huh. hold on. I'm remembering a detail. Go to your github.com profile. Uh, so where is that? For me, I'm, I'm over here clicking up in the little icon for my whole GitHub and we have a profile option. Actually, I think probably it's the settings right here, which is your whole settings for all of your GitHub. Yeah. Here it is. This is what we're looking for. Developer settings at the bottom here. Click on that. And then click on personal access tokens, generate a new token and give it repo access, save it somewhere uh, and use it as your GitHub password when pushing from RStudio. All right, let's try these steps. Need a personal access token. Uh, probably just do classic, let's try that. Generate a new token. Um, here we go. This, this is for Posit Cloud. It's going to expire. You can tell it, you know, I guess you can always come back here and renew it. I'll just do this for 30 days. And There's a lot of scopes you can set here. Do we 
need to really set anything. Give it repo access. Okay, that's this one here. And press generate token. All right, now <laughs> I'm going to uh, you know, delete all this stuff later, but this is a private token you wouldn't want to share with anybody. I'm copying this on my computer so that I can quote, could access it later. And once we go back here to posit cloud, oh, do I need to press anything? I think we're good to go. We're good to, yeah, once you, yeah, I copied it. Now, I think if I, for example, reload this page, it's gone, you can't see this again. So make sure you copy that thing. If we go back to Posit Cloud now, we attempt to push. I can type in my GitHub name. Now I've got to copy that big long thing in here. And it worked, I think. Should be able to go back to this new repository. Crump Lab example blog. Now the question is, have we updated it? Yes, there's a third post there. And what happens if we go to the website? This can sometimes take, I don't know, 30 to 40 seconds because it has to rebuild the website. I'm just gonna press reload. Yeah, see, we press reload and right here, GitHub pages is, it used to say active, but now it says waiting. And so that's because it sensed a change in the docs folder. There's new uh, stuff in here. It needs to render that stuff. And you can get a sense of when you'll be able to see the changes. Oh, I'm, I'm reloading this, but it's kind of slow. Oh, there we go. It's, it's back to active. So if we go here, now you can see your, your third, your new post or whatever you did. So those are the steps. I want to do uh, something one more time. Just, you know, this should take not that long. And it's just an example of the flow. Whenever you make a change, you're going to have to stage, commit, and push. All right, let's say I want to delete both of these existing posts. So I'm clicking them deleting them. Yes, they're gone. Uh, going to re-render the website in Posit Cloud. And now it's just this one post that's there because I deleted things. So we made some changes. When we, when we go to the Git tab, we can stage them all. It's kind of annoying to have to click all these things. If you do Command A, and click on one of them, it will click on all of them. These are all the things you want to stage. Press commit. Oh, pop-up blocker for this commit window. Uh, it's kind of, okay, I press try again and I see it. I'm not sure if you're seeing this, but I'm just making a message, delete first posts, press commit. That worked. Now I'm going to push the changes. Fortunately, I didn't need to use my password again because I'm already in this session. So that's, that's pretty nice. You don't have to keep copying that thing in there. And if we go back and reload our github.com, check out the posts folder, you could see you know, you've done that deletion. All right.
that is using posit cloud to get your Quarto blog going. If you run into issues, please send me an email. We'll talk about it and we'll make sure it works for you. That's it for now. See you in class.